the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced versus the Autel Evo 2 Dual 640T. Which of these compact thermal drones is best for your public safety agency or for your business? We're gonna talk about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. So these are exciting times in the enterprise drone world. We are now looking at compact drones that have high resolution thermal on them. And there are really two main contenders in this category, the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Auto Evo 2 Dual 640T. Hey guys, wanna interrupt things real quick. Uh, Autel just came out with a big announcement. They are actually coming out with an Autel Evo 2 version two. So what does that mean? It means there's a chip shortage and they can't continue to manufacture the version one. So they're coming out with a version two, which is gonna have a new microchip in it. So you're not gonna tell the difference with anything there, uh, but it will have an increased transmission range. So you'll get a little bit more distance. Um, so keep that in mind as you're watching this video, cause that is really the one thing that could change when this version two comes out uh, is the transmission range. So anyway, just wanted to let you guys know uh, the latest information. This is what we know so far as of June of 2021. So let's get back to the video. These two drones are very similar in a lot of ways. They're both compact, they both fold up, they fold a little bit differently, but they basically fold down into a very similar form factor. But we're gonna go through category by category and tell you which drone is best in which category. And then at the end, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is the best value. So let's get started. We're gonna talk about size first. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I've always been told that size doesn't matter. Well, I, I don't know if that's necessarily true, uh, but in this case, the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced comes in at around two pounds. The Autel Evo 2 640T comes in at about two and a half pounds. So it is a little bit bigger, it is a little bit chunkier, but still both of these drones, very, very small, very compact. But in this category, it goes to the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. All right, let's talk about battery life. This is an important one. The DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced uh, comes in at about 31 minutes per battery. Now, realistically, when you factor in wind, when you factor in these attachments that you can put on top, you're really probably looking at closer to like 25 minutes. The Autel Evo 2 640T is listed at 40 minutes of flight time. Uh, if you factor in all those other things, you're looking closer to like 35 minutes but still that's a 10 minute advantage for the Autel Evo 2 640T. And when you're out in the field and you're on a mission, that 10 minutes can mean a lot. So this category goes to the Autel Evo 2 640T. Next up is the color or RGB camera. So these drones come with great thermal cameras, but they also come with great color cameras. The Autel Evo 2 640T has an 8K sensor on it, so that's pretty great. And some of you might be saying, well, 8K, I can barely use 4K at this point. But 8K is great because you can actually crop in on the image, still have a 4K resolution image, even if you crop in. It just gives you a little bit of room to play. You can go into full manual mode. You can change your frame rate or your ISO. You can even shoot in log format, so it gives you a little bit of flexibility when it comes to color or your highs and lows in different areas of the picture. And if you're saying your computer can't handle 8K files, well, you gotta look up proxies. That's how you make it work with these big files. You gotta look up proxies. The Mavic drone is really just locked. You're not able to change any of those settings manually. And maybe that's not a big deal for you. You are using these drones uh, for enterprise purposes. Uh, not to shoot pretty pictures necessarily, but if being able to go into manual mode on your camera is important, you're gonna wanna go with the Autel drone. And really, overall, I just think the image quality on the Autel drone is superior. So this category goes to Autel. All right, let's talk about zoom range. We did an entire video on this, but for the Autel Evo 2 640T, you're gonna have four times optical zoom, eight times digital zoom. So as it gets into that digital zoom, it's gonna start breaking up a little bit. But if you go to four times, you're still gonna have a, a lossless, really crisp image. 
With the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, you are looking at a four times lossless zoom as well, but then you're looking at a 32 times digital zoom. So it really can get in there for inspection purposes. This can be key. Uh, it can be a great way for you to change your workflow and make things go a little faster, save you a little bit of time, save you a little bit of money. That's a 32 times zoom range in photo mode only on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. So a really great zoom range. And obviously the Mavic takes this category. All right, let's talk about thermal imaging. That is really the bread and butter of these drones. Both of them have high resolution, 640 by 512 thermal sensors on them. So that means you're gonna be able to go up to 400 feet and still get an accurate heat reading uh, with both of these drones. They're also both radiometric. What does that mean? It means that you can go to each pixel on your screen, touch it, and it's gonna give you a relatively accurate temperature. So having these radiometric sensors really is a great tool uh, for several different industries. And honestly, I can't tell the difference between either of these thermal sensors. So I'm gonna call this one a tie. Uh, they can both zoom on the thermal side as well. They've got digital zoom on both of them, but I'm gonna call it a tie. I don't think anyone is gonna be disappointed regardless of which drone you go with. All right, let's talk about smart features. So both of these drones can do mapping. You can go in and do missions, uh, take the pictures, and then upload them to Pix4D or Drone Deploy or DJI Terra, whichever one you prefer. So both of them can do that, and that's a great tool. But I'm talking about smart features like Follow Me or Point of Interest. Uh, DJI has kind of removed those totally from their enterprise drones. So while they have them on all of their consumer drones, they don't have them on the enterprise side. And I, and I get it, that makes sense. These are drones for business. But Autel has included them on their side. You've got Point of Interest. Uh, you've got Follow Me. Point of Interest really is an important one for inspection. So I really like that Autel has included those features uh, on this Enterprise drone as well. Will you use it? Maybe not, but it might come in handy at some point. So this category goes to Autel. All Next up is accessories. The DJI drone comes with a ton of accessories. Uh, you get the top mounts, these are the attachments like the spotlight, the speaker, the beacon. They are all very well integrated. You can turn them on and off from the smart controller. And let's talk about that smart controller, a really, really handy accessory to have because you don't have to worry about hooking your phone up to it and having a cable. Uh, the less pieces you have, the less chance you have of something going wrong. And you have that five inch screen built in. So a lot of great accessories that come in the package uh, with the Mavic drone. With Autel, you don't get those accessories. If you wanna add lights, you're gonna have to add separate lights that don't integrate into the drone necessarily. You also don't get a smart controller. Now, Autel is coming out with a smart controller, but it's gonna be like $1,200. Uh, so that's gonna be an additional cost. Autel's also got the live deck. This is a way of transmitting the drone signal to a remote location, a really, really handy tool, but that's also additional, like $450. So for this category, I'm going with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced because you just get everything that you would possibly need in that package, where with Autel, you gotta add a bunch of stuff. So the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced wins in the accessories category. All right, let's talk about flight range. So the DJI drone says they can go about 11 miles. Uh, that's not very realistic. I, I, and honestly, it just wouldn't be legal. It's gonna be way out of your line of sight. There's no reason that you would need a drone to go 11 miles from the remote control. And I guarantee that with buildings around that kind of thing, you're not gonna get anywhere near that kind of range. The Autel drone, they say you can go about five and a half miles. Uh, again, that's gonna be way beyond your line of sight, so it doesn't really matter. They could say it's 30 miles, uh, but unless you've got like multiple visual observers along the way, uh, it really doesn't matter if this thing can go beyond like two miles because you're not gonna be able to see it at that point anyway. But I gotta say from personal experience, uh, the Altel drone did kind of break up a little bit more than the Mavic drone did. Also something important to note, most people think that you take the remote control and put the, put the sticks up, the antenna up straight up, 
Uh, but that's really not how this works. You want the antennas on both of these drones to be pointing down and facing uh, the drone itself. So you want it to be pointing down and facing the drone. I'm showing you right now a little bit of an example of that, but that's something important because you're gonna get more range if you've got your antennas pointed in the right direction, obviously. But this category for range is gonna go to the DJI drone. Now, like I said, I haven't tested this out uh, in terms of the max distance. I know there are uh, people on YouTube that have tried this. It's probably illegal that they tried it, but they have tried it. But this category goes to the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. All right, let's talk about speed. Speed, it's a tie. They both go 45 miles an hour. Uh, in ludicrous mode, the Autel goes 45 miles an hour. In sport mode, uh, the Mavic goes 45 miles an hour. So this category is a tie. All right, next up is geofencing. So what do I mean by geofencing? Essentially, DJI has this system in place. It's for safety purposes that essentially can ground your drone if DJI thinks you're flying in an area that you shouldn't be. You can get FAA approval and the FAA is gonna say, all right, go ahead, you can fly there. Uh, but DJI could lock you out. We actually had this uh, when we were doing a demonstration at an NFL stadium. The FAA said, you can go ahead and fly. But DJI said, nope, we're not gonna let you fly here. So we had to jump through those hoops to get DJI to unlock it. Autel does not have that problem. If you get approval from the FAA to fly somewhere, your drone is gonna fly. You're gonna be able to get it up in the air with the Autel drone. So if this is really important to you, if you are flying in a lot of areas where DJA might ground you, you're gonna wanna go with the Autel drone. This is a big feature and a big plus that they've got on their side. Again, kudos to DJI for trying to be safe, but Autel is gonna win in this category because they do not do geofencing. All right, now a really important category is pricing. The DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is coming in at $69.69. That is for the whole package. You get three batteries, you get the drone, you get the smart controller, all of the accessories. You get a hard case, you get a year of DJI Enterprise Shield, which is basically insurance. Uh, so you get a lot in that package for $69.69. The Alltel drone, it's coming in at $6,900. What do you get for that? You get the drone, you get the standard remote, you get three batteries, you get the hard case, you get the multi-charger. So it's also a great package, but if you want things like that upcoming smart controller, if you want things like the live deck, that's gonna cost you. So you're looking at an additional $1,800 to add all that stuff on if you really wanna unlock the power of this Autel drone. So for pricing, I gotta go with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. All right, so finally, overall, which of these drones is the best? Which is the best value? Well, I gotta go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. They won six of these categories, while Altel won four of these categories. We also had a couple of ties, but overall, just the value of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, everything that you get with that package, and DJI being the juggernaut, they know what they're doing. They have figured this drone stuff out. They've made it easy for you to get a really powerful tool up in the air and use it to improve your business, use it to improve your public safety operation. It really is an incredible drone. And I gotta go with the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced in this battle against the Autel Evo 2 640T. Both of them are great drones. You're not gonna be disappointed if you get either one of them. The Autel drone really is great. It is up and coming. They keep pushing the envelope and Autel really is a force to be reckoned with. So we know that a lot of people focus on consumer drones. Uh, a lot of these YouTube channels are talking about the rumors of the Mavic 3 Pro, all that kind of good stuff. Very interesting stuff if that's what you're interested in, but that's not what we do here at Aerial Influence. We focus on drones for enterprise purposes, for construction, for surveying, for inspections, and really most importantly, for search and rescue. We also work with agricultural drones. So if all of this is something that interests you, if going into the future using drones for professional purposes is something you're interested in, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe because that's, that's what we do. That's what we talk about. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time.